Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel and as well you're welcome to Microsoft Online Internship Program. Today I'm going to show you how to start a task, end the task and unlock the next level. Now, if you should you don't know what Microsoft Online Free Internship Program is all about, you can actually learn more about it right here, how to sign up for it. I'm going to tell you how it works right now. I'm going to be providing you a link to actually access this very video that teaches you how to actually sign up all for free 100% for free now what we have is this this is not a particular avenue where you have to actually sign up for classes and learn something new it is actually a place you learn oh uh, sorry you actually learn by doing you solve problems let me show you how we solve problems so we have this page about data analytics so once you actually uh, sign up for this very uh, <coughs> Microsoft internship so you're going to actually take a particular course and based on the tools you use or based on your skill set now we have this data analytics skill set where we can actually use R, Shares, Power BI or Tableau and Excel to solve problems so right now we are to actually help Lena improve her cookie business using unique insights from Elite Assert. Now, what we are going to do right now, once we have actually known the kind of problem we are to be solved, so we need to actually get a data set, which is what we have right here. So we have these data sets downloaded already. So we're going to read through the problems we are to solve, what they want us to solve for this very our client. This is going to help you in the real life. If you have a job or you're working in, in any office, now we're able to download the data set and load it to Excel. Now that we have it opened in Excel, we're able to run some pretty good analysis on it. And we're able to make recommendations for our leader. And as well, create a dashboard that's going to help Lena out to actually you know, get to understand her business better. So once we are done with this, we would have to submit back to the site. This is where you're going to actually gather all your findings. And actually advise or recommend or uh, to Lena what you can make her business better so this is how you make a submission so you need to come back to this site and click and go this low and actually click right here and upload what you think is best and suffer it so once you've actually done that it's going to unlock the next level for you which is the next model so we've actually done this and all that so right now let us learn how to do this from start to finish first of all get data set you know have a back end where you actually get your rough work to actually get the decision be made so find your recommendations beauty dashboard to help Lena out so let us get started in a new sheet i'm gonna be clicking on this and get to this very sheet right here the back end is empty right now because i don't have anything right here so I'm going to be clicking back to this very site and look at the questions we have right here. So I'm not going to concern myself about this one because it has nothing to do with what I need yet. So we're going to have to answer those questions on this very uh, page right here. So once we click back, we can see the question we are going to actually uh, concern ourselves about. So now they said, which demographic group buys the most cookies so what we need to do is to actually copy this from here and actually come to excel and drop it right here so once you drop it now you think about it what can you do to get it from this very data set you have right here what can you do to know the demographic that buys the most cookies so the first thing you have to do is actually go to your data set click anywhere in the data set and go to insert and insert pivot table because we have our back end already so we are going to click on existing worksheet then we'll click on the back end and we're going to drop this right here so we'll click ok so we're going to be looking at the question again which demographic group buys the most cookie so the demographic group is going to be like we're going to take the postcode and we're going to take the cookie which is each week 
So once we've done this, the next one is for we to go back to our data set and click on insert, pivot table and existing worksheet. Then we'll click on this. So we drop this right here. Okay. And now we're going to name this one gender or gender demographic. So gender demographic. So click back here and go to it. Go to gender and drag it down. So it could keep bought each week. So right now to answer this question perfectly right now, so we're gonna say post code. Two thousand should be focused on which is this very location should be focused on because they buy the highest as you can see right now. And if we come to the gender right, we see the female to actually which is the most highest cookie, which we can actually write to be all uh, this female. So, okay, I'm gonna take it off from here. Just write simple female right here. So female, so we have this inset. Do not worry, you're going to understand how to actually present this and submit it in a jiffy. So we go back to the same side again. So now the next question is gonna be, what is the most popular type of cookie? So that is another question. We are gonna copy the question from here down to Excel to see how we can answer this. So we drop it right here. So we go back to our data set, go to insert, and we are going to be using the next team work sheet. So right here and we hit OK. Now we look at the question again. What is the most popular type of cookie? So we have our favorite cookie right here. We drag it down and we're going to cookie bot each week. So right now, without guessing, we can see the most popular type of cookie is the one with the highest number of purchases. So what we need to do right now is just to like copy this and actually come right here and drop it. Do not worry, we're going to be making a very nice statement to help learn it out. With what she really wants so we're going to go back to the side again and look at this what type of cookie should Lena sell and why we would have it inside using this very word Microsoft Word and which demographic shit should touch it so now which demographic would she touch it okay I'm gonna copy this angle let me see Okay, now we are done with this. So the next thing I have to do right now is to make a visualization and the rest question is going to actually be something we're going to be using this very part to actually answer. So once we've done that, we can learn how to submit it and actually unlock the next level. So let us go back to the finished one. So we need to get to actually do this the way we have it visualized. And actually the recommendation we're not going to have the recommendation right here, but we're going to do it right here and see how we can actually get that done. This is exactly how you can actually treat your client. So right now, let us learn how to build this dashboard. In order to build this dashboard, what we need to do is to get something very clean like this. So we go back to here and we'll click on dashboard. It's pretty basic, huh? So we can click on this and come to home we select cell then I'm gonna select this so we go back once again click on it and pick on this title so when I come back here I give it bold and I change it text to white right so now I've gotten dirt so when I click on this I go right here and I pick something like this so give it the white and make it bold so now it is a pretty good heading that actually tells what we are about to do so the next thing we have to do is actually click on right here and control one or your right click to 
pick format so so we're going to go to fill color so we go right here and select this pattern and we say okay so once we've done that we're actually going to select the area we want to actually have a dashboard covered which is something like this so we need to click back on home Let's go to cell style and click on none so it's not pure white right so we don't need that we need something like this we need something like this once we click off we have something like this and now in order to have something like this design what we need to do is very simple so we can click on insert go to shape and pick on something like this so we're gonna have it dragged release it and make sure it's actually to your test so we come back to here and select this same color you can see but it's not what we've actually seen right there so we we'll click back on it and we we'll go to format so now we can give it a little formatting so go back to here and go to preset then we choose this very one which is preset 5 so we go back to shape effect again go to shadow and just say no shadow so when we go back to it again we'll go to the same shadow and we need to actually give it this very shadow right here I believe you can see what we've done and how good it's gonna look like if we are true with what we are doing now let's see what we need to do what we need to do is to get ahead it right that is a nice dashboard building but before we do that let us actually uh, create our charts so we go back we click on back end and we need to create this very tree map which we cannot really use with pivot table but what we need to do is to actually get it done is for we to copy from here down to here to somewhere else so we copy this and we drop it right here because we want we want postcode just like what we have right here to be postcode and the number of the postcode plus the number of quantity the actually postcode actual purchase we want to have it like this so we need to actually add extra something like having posts code right here all true but something is funny right we will need to actually have this to be like this i'm gonna copy this away from here i'm gonna call this away and drop it right here now i'm gonna come right here and like use the word concatenate so okay i'm gonna concatenate this postcode so this have it closed this is what i have so right now i don't need this again I don't need any of this sorry I, I have to get this off first now this is what I need what I need to do is to copy this and drop it as value we need to drop this as value so now we can delete any of this right now because it has no connection so we can now copy this cut it and come to the next line right here and have it dropped so this is what we have so we can create our what now create our tree map from here so click on insert and go to this very tree map then insert your tree map right here that is well created so we can delete the top one and this is what we're gonna have so we're gonna be we're gonna make title it to be uh, sales by postcode so something like this so once we are done with that we can now cut it and go to a dashboard and have it dropped here 
you can adjust it to fit it in it's going to take the whole space right so now what we need to do right now we need to get the value on it so right click and go to what format data label so we shift it a little bit and come to this and add value so we don't want to have it in the same line what do we do we go to this very separator and we click on it we add new line so this is awesome so right now we're going to go to home and make it bold this is good right so now we have it closed which means we are done with this so the next thing the next chart we need to actually create right now uh, is going to be this very chart right here so what do we do we go to this and go to our back end scroll to here now we have the chips or the the, uh, the cookies selected we we'll have this closed and go to analyze and view chat so we need something like this we still okay to it so we need to actually remove all this <coughs> because we don't need it hide it have this remove and have the grid line take off no grid line and now we can make it we can sort it so now it's looking great hierarchically so now we can copy this from here so now we have to give it a title sales by favor right cookie so now we have this cut it off go to dashboard and we we'll paste it right here it's as simple as this so we're gonna adjust a little bit because we have another chat coming up so the next chat right now the next chat is gonna be Okay, let's see what the next chart is. The next chart is going to be this age group, which I've not actually created. So I'm going to shift to this end, go to my data set, so click on insert and hit on pivot table, then existing. We'll go to back end and uh, we drop it. So we're going to say age group. group demographics so click on it and click on the edge group drag it down and we can now see the edge group that is actually buying well so the edge group is actually from 10 to 19 so the edge group is gonna be 10 okay 10 to 19 so now if we come right here we're gonna see the question being asked uh, which I think we have where well, we have a question where we asked to actually uh, tell which age group okay now which demographic group buys the most cookie I think that is exactly what we are trying to do so right now I'm going to visualize it click on analyze go to pivot table so right now we need to use this so click OK and we have to get this off we don't need it so get this off Hide it, we don't need it. So, right now we need to get the grid line off. So, it's gonna be sales by age group. So, sales by age group. So, click on it, put it up from here and come down here and have it pasted down right here. So, you not close this. So this is what we have exactly so the next thing is going to be the gender we need to visualize the gender so come down click on this and we're going to be using do not chat this time around i love that this this little do not chat right here so click okay 
and the gender is going to hide it we don't need it and we're going to actually take the plant to the top level so click on it and say drop and we're going to sell sales by gender so we cut it off from here to our dashboard so we're going to drop it like this shift a, shift a little bit so what we need to do for the first time before we actually adjust it is for we to come to our formatting uh, shape fill we say no fill shape outline we say no outline so right now we can adjust to fit in so we've made an adjustment that actually fit in properly so what we need to do right now is to click right here and choose the data level so click on data level right here and we need to come to home Make it bold and give it white color so that it will stand out. So this is exactly what we need. But right now we've not gotten it the way we have the other dashboard. So we still have something missing. You can see how fancy it looks, right? So what we need to do right now is, to, is for we to go back and add some formatting. So we'll click on right here, click it again, and we right click to go towards we format it and we'll click on this very shadow so we need to add shadow and once we click on it this is what we need to add okay we choose this very shadow right here to add a shadow to it so once we click on this is what we have we have it stand out like this very clean so we can click on right we can click on this one in in, in the inner you know, okay click on the outer aspect of it so go to shadow and give it this very shadow so when we click on this what we need to do go to shadow i'm gonna have this can you see the differences so now we're still gonna do the same thing to this so click on it go to shadow and we choose this very shadow right here we have it all surrounded so once we click on this inner wall right here so we're not going to have it all surrounded right now you can see we give this as a shadow so we click on this and it's going to be pretty basic so we click on here and we add in all this to be shadow so once we click off so we have something similar to what we have right here we're very very close if not much close so we can drag this a little bit so here you go now the next thing we have to do right now is to get this very matrix at the top right here which is what we have like this so i'm going to be actually taking this i'll cut it off from here i'll go to here and drop it so the best location we need this as well so we come back here right we drop it so best selling cookie and uh, when we come back right here and um, we have to take this to be the edge group so we come back we drop this So we come back right here again. Number of location. Sorry. So the number of location is gonna be here too. So right now, I think the second to the last is gonna be number of customers so we are almost through with it 
number of customers we're gonna gonna click this and drag it right here so adjust it a little bit to contain everything So we go back to this and take the last one, which is total cookie sold. So now here is everything we have. So we can now take a look at this and see how we can build it. So let us take this as a sample. Cut it off from there. So now we can drop it right here. So once we've done this, we can duplicate this to every part. Then, okay, sorry. So all you need to do is to actually uh, left click and hold your control. Hold your control, you see the plus sign, then you click on it and drag it. So before you release your control, release your hand from this mouse, that is what we have. So right now, what we need to do is to actually like, what is the uh, best location? We have this to be the best location. So best selling product is this. So we need to actually go and like best selling cookie. We we'll go from here to our back end. So we see our cookie. The best selling cookie right now is this. So we hit enter. We have it right here. So we've lost the formatting. So we're gonna have it very soon. So now the best purchasing age group. So once we done, we go here. So we go right here. and see why we have it selected. So good. So number of location, the number of location is going to be, go back here. So we're going to be using count, count A to get that. Count A will help us with this number of the location covered. So it, which is 19, this number of location, which is the postcode is our location. So go to dashboard and go to here and back and just this hit enter there's a number of locations so now the port the number of customer how do we get number of customer it is highly simple so what we need to do to get number of customer so it's going to be this very formula called rows so we'll go back to our data set customer id then we we'll close it we hit enter so we have 48 customers over the weeks. So now all we need to do is go back to the dashboard and click on what this. Then back and hit on this and okay. Now total for keep a chest. When we hit on this, it's very simple. We're just gonna go to our back end as well. So we're going to select this, which is a total cookie purchase. That is all that. So to get the formatting right, we need to click on home and double click on format. So right, we have it in it. How about this? Here we go. So we now have something similar to what we have right here. It's now identical, right? So we might want to give it this give this something different to stand it out a little bit. So so this is what we have. So the next one gonna be solving is actually this very one right here. The first question was what demographic characteristics are provided in the data set? So I've already had this one done to actually keep the video shut. So we have all the questions right, right here. 
So what demographic characteristics are provided in the data set? So we're going to copy this and drop it right there. And then I'll explain to you what we have. So here is our answer. The demographic characteristics in the data set are age group, postcode, cookie, and gender. You might need to think through it. So now the second one is which demographic group buys the most cookie? So once we go back right here, we click on it. So now we're making a recommendation for Lena. Female gender purchase. Okay, I have to correct something right here. Female gender purchases more cookies. 120 out of 182. Which may, which where they made up 66 percent of the purchasing. So now we'll go to the next one. What is the most popular type of cookie? So we'll click back on this. I've solved it to make it very simple. So I'm gonna click on this. So I have it copied. Come right here. Drop it. So Mandemia is the most popular cookie. 71 out of 182 were sold. Can you look at that? So we are giving a reason why it is the most you know popular cookie. That is how you just don't just say uh, don't just give the name of the cookie and feel like you are done with it. So what type of cookie should Leno sell and why? So we go back right here. So we click on this. We copy, come down, and like this. So, let's see, right? Macadamia is one of the hottest cookies ever sold. So, Lena should focus on marketing it more. Uh, Chuck Chick is, the, is to be uh, considered as it has the second highest number of sales. So, we recommended two cookies for later. So, now, which demographic should she target? So now, the female. Now, which demographics should she target? The female gender should be targeted more. Women are the highest buyer of all our cookies. So that was the reason. Now the last but not the least right now is how can you, how can you data set Sorry, how can data analytics techniques you use to provide recommendations to learner be improved? So we have it solved right here as well. So from here down. So we have this. Now the first thing is like, I got to correct this. Sorry for that. So now, how can the data analytics techniques used to provide recommendations to Lena be improved? For more insight into the analytics, it would be best to look at other demographics in order to determine which cookie sells best. Now, the question is this, you can actually go through this on your own on the screen and see what we have actually gotten. So now, this is how I got everything how I got my answers. Now I created this extra to actually come up with everything I have right here because this is what the business needs. The person might not know anything about analytics, even the dashboard might be hard for hard to read through and understand. But by actually creating something like this she reads through, isn't your isn't the data set I provided to you, you're gonna help the business to actually you know make a smart decision. So are we able to know how many locations ma macadamia was sold on and how many locations we sold ch chalk chip on, uh, in as well? And we're able to see how many edge group, uh, where the edge group, uh, this very particular cookies you know, were sold to and the edge group this one was sold to. So we were able to know the best, you know, location aside the top location, which is uh, postcode 2000. 
So we have this as well to be a good location, this to be a good location. So in our recommendation, if you look at right here, so we actually recommended her to actually focus on those location. So if we delve deep, we will see that postcodes this and this and this and this are to be considered instead of focusing on one postcode or location with the highest sales. So by focusing on this, we are going to actually make uh, a good uh, business. So I believe this helps. Now let me show you how to get this very particular, you know, calls and, you know, click on it and get to actually start working on the same data set I've actually worked on. So the first thing you need is actually for you to go and create your account. So once you create your account, it's going to take you to a dashboard, something like this. So while you're on the dashboard, kindly scroll down and click on career and tech right here. You can see career, career in tech. So once you click on career in tech, it's going to take you to something like this. It's coming up. So it's going to take you to something like this. So our career models. So you read through everything. So these are the careers we have right here. So we have design UI and UX. So we have cybersecurity, and we have AI, robotics, and software engineering. So what we are going to be concerned about is data science and analytics. So you can click on this data science and analytics, and it's going to take you to another part of it, which is this, data science and analytics. So you come right here and listen to what she has to say, or you read through everything right here. Then once you've actually read through everything right here, whatever she said is what we have right here written. So now we can actually scroll down a little bit and see the two tasks you're going to be having. So once you are done going through everything, click on click on this very part. Uh, it's going to take you to this page. So this is where you start your journey. So now it's going to ask you, as an analyst, you should help Lena improve her cookie business using unique insights from data set. I hope this helps. I just want to stop this video like this. Now what you need to do is for you to click right here and submit your findings. So once you actually have done this, so you can now save this. Once it is being saved, you know where it is. So go and click on this. Once you click on this, you have to locate it. The moment you locate it, it's coming up. The moment you locate the file, you can now upload it, click on upload and upload the file right here. So once you upload it, it's going to unlock the next uh, model for you or the next step for you. So you can submit as many times as you can. If you know you didn't get it right, you can do it again and resubmit it. So do it like that until you get it right. So I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. video. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do so right now. So here is what we've actually worked on. So I'm going to double click and now I'm having it submitted. So now it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to cut off and actually, you know, watch it submitted. So follow the same procedure we've actually used in this very tutorial to actually help you solve this. So now this is our first task right here. So the second task is coming up. So for you to follow up on how I solved this second task, all you need to do is to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any doubt, and as well click on like. Help me share this to everyone out there, all the friends and family. I'm going to appreciate it a lot. So thank you very much for watching. You can see I've just submitted it. It has been submitted right here. So can you see that? And it is being marked. So now after you might have submitted it, it's going to actually show you that you need to download that is download an example of work done at Common World Bank. So now you download theirs and here we go. You can see congratulations on completing the using data to build a successful business task. So now you can like you want to actually review send to send method to hr and continue the next one so once you click on this it's going to go and send the message to hr so we want to stop this very video right here i want to say thank you very much for watching do subscribe and have a great day